Hello folks and welcome to the Mad Channel. Today I got a lot of packages and they're all thanks to you guys or some of you guys out there and I'll just explain why in a minute. But before I do that I'm going to explain why I'm filming in the car. So I actually did start to film this in the living room but Cookie was extremely boisterous and I just sat down and started to make the first thing I said and he tweeted right over me and I was like I'll tell you what I'm going to go and film this in the car when it's quiet but little did I know it's raining and it's absolutely pouring down so I hope you can hear me I'm trying to speak louder over the rain and actually so I brought all the packages out with me and I actually brought my cup of tea with me as well to the car. So I'm going to have a wee drink of that first and then I'll tell you about the how I got these packages. Now if you've seen my video I think it was from Thursday last week you will see that uh, Neil Hill on the Movie Mad Facebook page pointed out that there was a Signal 1 sale on and I, w I was looking for a couple of the titles in it. Uh, Pony Express was a title I was looking at and I was looking at another couple of others but they, I'd, I'd just made a wee purchase from Amazon Germany came in spent £15-£20 and I said there's a lot of bills and I was like I can't, I just can't buy any more so I just had a look at the sale and I'd signed in and I'd seen that the rewards programme was there and the rewards programme was if I sent a link to someone, they got £10 credit, and if they used it, I got £5 credit, and I was like, oh, that's a intriguing way for maybe for me to get a few Blu-rays. But little did I know, unfortunately, I think I broke the rewards programme, because I shared it on my YouTube channel, and I shared it on the Movie Mad Facebook page, I shared it on Big Polly's, and I think 13 people used the link. And I got, I think I got thirteen five pounds, which was absolutely amazing. And an hour after I pulled the Apple my order, they cancelled the rewards program. Which you know, I, you know, I used it in good, good faith. I think uh, sent out the people and they got the rewards, and I got my rewards. But they obviously decided that it was too good a deal for them to continue with at this time and then they closed it off and at that point I was thinking they're probably going to cancel all my orders but to be fair to them to give Signal 1 credit they didn't and they sent out uh, my, or my order so I'll show you what I got you know in fact I just started because I had so many reward codes I just started to take ones I was interested in some of them were £5 and some of them were 7 so the ones that the reward codes I got were for £5. So if it was £5, I got the order for free. If it was for £7, I paid the £2 and I got the... And I got the order. But I can't remember which ones were which. I can remember a couple that, a couple that were £7. But we'll talk about them as we open them. But I'd already received two uh, yesterday. So I've already opened them. So I'll show you what they are. open ones in here let's see here they are so the first one I received was death race 2000 now this one's got Sylvester Stallone and it. it's just recently been released by Signal 1 I think last year and it's in the year 2000 in the future but 24, 24 years in the past now Hit and run becomes a national sport and a no holds barred cross country race. I think Death Race with Jason Statham is pretty made on this, isn't it? So it's got Sylvester Stallone and David Carradine. It's got special features. It's got interview with Roger Corman's assistant, Beverly Gray. Video essay with film historian Mark Serby. And a still gallery and an open theatrical trailer. So I got that one. 1975 and 80 minutes it is. 
Now, I haven't seen that one, but I thought for £5, it was worth worth checking out. If I don't like it, I can always trade it in. Uh, next one I got... Now, this one arrived yesterday as well, and this one I have opened, and it's the fan with Robert De Niro and Wesley Snipes. Now, I have seen this one, and this is a great movie. I remember seeing it when it first came out, and basically, Wesley Snipes is a baseball player, and he interacts with a fan, which is Robert De Niro, who becomes obsessed with him. He sort of becomes his thing. If I thinks he's, he thinks he's great, he's just doing an ordinary guy, but things turn sinister. Now I have opened this one, and the reason I opened it is when it came to the post, the disc was loose. So as you can see, this one's the one of the dual editions. That's just my invoice for it there. Uh, dual editions uh, with the DVD and the Blu-ray. So this was one of the seven pound ones. It comes with. Uh, just, just still gallery and optional SD subtitles on the main feature. And I, I say, I remember watching this one. Okay, let's see the synopsis. When the San Francisco Giant play centre field Bobby Rayburn, 40 million to lead the team, the world, no one is happier and more supportive than number one five, Gil Renard. So when Rayburn becomes mired in a worse slump of his career, the obsessed Renard stops at nothing to help his eye. He regain his glory, not even murder. So that is two that I got. And I'm going to be honest with you. When I was going through the Signal 1 and I knew I had quite a few referral codes, I just started taking anything that I might have been interested in. I've not actually opened them yet. And I don't know if I can even remember what I ordered. So let's open them one at a time. And let's see what we have. These envelopes could be reused, but let's see. Let's see what we have in this one. Hope the rain's not putting you off too much. Here it is. Oh yes, I remember I ordered this one. I'm pretty sure this one was a seven pounder because it's a dual format, is it? Maybe it wasn't. I can't remember. But it's Rudger Hauer and Wanted Dead or Alive. As I said, I picked up any ones that I felt. Uh, I felt that I would like to watch or had any interest in and that was a CIA Wanted Dead or Alive Rudger Hauer I do like Rudger Hauer a CIA agent turned a former to a former agent Nick Randall now a bounty hunter who collects criminal lowlife for a hefty price when terrorist Malik Gene Simmons kills two of Randall's close friend, friends hunting them down becomes a personal vendetta Sounds like split second. So, again, pick that one up. That's great. Next, let's see what we've got. Oh yes, it was a war film I seen, and it was again. It looked pretty good, and it's the halls of Montezuma. Grim epic American war movie about the Pacific campaign starring Richard Wilmark as a former teacher who is now a lieutenant. Sounds a bit like Brian Ryan, doesn't it? Leading his marines into battle on a heavily fortified enemy island. The objective is a Japanese rocket site on the island's interior. It's got special features include high definition transfer, UK Blu-ray, visual essay with film expert Mark Serby, and it has a runtime of 130 minutes. I often forget to tell you about the runtime, so sorry I didn't tell you about the other three. <laughs> I could go, let's go back and tell you what those are, just to be sure. 106 minutes for what they did or alive. A fan is 116 minutes. And Death Race 2000 is 80 minutes. So look, four great, four decent ones that I think will end up in my collection. Death Race 2000, I'm not quite sure about, but the other three. I think I'm definitely interested in. Oh. These must, the holes in Montezuna, so you can tell uh, the ones with, that have got the DVD in them are the ones that cost £7. So the fan in holes in Montezuma must be, the, must be them and the things. So look, already a nice wee collection, isn't it? 
so I did pay, uh, I think it was 10 or 12 pounds for in these because say you could only use a five pound code once on an order so if it was seven pounds you, you had to pay the two which is fair enough i can't argue with that so let's get on to the next one and see what else i got and i say thank you to everybody that used the referral code and got yourself something uh it certainly helped me out because i would never have got these i would never have been able to get these otherwise Oh yes, I picked this one up. This is one of the five pound ones, and it interested me because I had two actors and actresses that I quite liked. It's got Tim Robbins and it's got Jodie Foster, and it's five corners. Two days can last a lifetime. Also recognised that guy there. He's the guy at Transformers, isn't he? The one that would make them take his clothes off and the Autobot pees on them. <laughs> Don't know what his name is. But uh, it says, in the Bronx neighbourhood of Five Corners, 1964, changes in the air and unrest in the streets. Teenage, teenage girls are given away, to a pair, are given away to a pair of delinquents. A high school teacher is shot in the back with an arrow on the way to school. And the psychotic Heinz Teruto is released from jail only to return to stalking the object of his affection, Linda. Which is Jodie Foster. So, this one comes with the high definition transfer. Audio commentary and still gallery, and it's from 1987. I never heard of this movie until I seen it in the sale. I've got Flight Plan with Jodie Foster. I've got The Brave One. I've got Silence of the Lambs. Uh, obviously got Taxi Driver. What's the other good one? We that I want to. Oh, you can't. You can't. Don't think you can get on blue there. It's Panic Room. So next we have, let's see, because I'm not on myself, I can see it in the mirror. Oh, it's a western, uh, it's Rio Conchos, is that how you spell it? And this one is the one that's about £7 because it's got the DVD in it. Uh, I do like a western, so I thought, why not? Stuart Whitman, Richard Boone, Tony Francesco, I don't, I've not heard of any of those actors but I just liked the cover and I thought it was a good one so it says avenging the massacre of his family by Apache Indians a former confederate an army officer Lassiter Richard Boone obtains a stolen repeating rifle and finds himself arrested by the US Army it runs for it's from 1964 it runs for 107 minutes I should tell you the year as well I'm not I'm not I'm not uh, as great good at this as Kermit <laughs> he's number one on a Monday for a reason <laughs> Uh, yeah, special features interview with film expert Chris Pothenal, original gallery and optional English HD subtitles so that is Real Conscious so that's 1, 2, 3, 4 5, 6 movies I got yeah, excellent. Oh, I did open this one, <laughs> and I did open it this morning. And the postman, when he was delivering all these packages, he said he was talking to me. I said, I said I had to order them individually. And I said it's blue. And he goes, Oh, I like them. So I opened one and I showed him which what it was. And I don't, so I know which one this is coming out. It's another. Sounds like it's got a loose disc. It does. Or something like that, but it's Plan B. It's Broken Arrow, and it's another western, and it's got James Stewart. Because I watched a couple of James Stewart things lately. I haven't watched the It's a Wonderful Life for a long time, so I watched that. I've watched The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. I'm pretty sure I watched one more, and so I took Broken Arrow. This is in CEX at the moment for six pound, but I seen it on the site and I took it. Dual format, so it's the year is 1870 and former Union soldier James Stewart, Tom Jeffers, is recruited to remove a tribe of Apache warriors from the US mail delivery route. So it's from 1950, it's in 93 minutes. It's got commentary with expert, Western expert, Sea Country joiner, Robert Ward, a still gallery and original theatrical trailer. So again, I took that one off. Oh, I need to fix that loose disc again. I'm going to pause for a cup of tea because it's cold out here. 
it's probably getting cold. Oh, there will you miss my good tea bags. I wonder why that one's plan B and the other ones are signal one. If there's a difference in there and you know what it is, then let me know. What else do we have? We shall soon see. What a day this is, it's like Christmas. Oh yes, I remember this one now. I ordered it up because it's got Nicolas Cage in it. He's a quite a favourite of mine. Also Dennis Hopper in it as well. And that's Red Rock West. I haven't heard of this one, but I go, it must be one of Nicolas Cage's earlier works. The quickest thriller since Blood Simple, Red Rock West stars Nicolas Cage, Dennis Hopper and Lara Flynn in an offbeat mystery about the average guy who's mistaken for a professional hitman. So I'm imagining that it's Nicolas Cage that's mistaken for the hitman. Again, this one's a plan B one. I wonder, why it's, wonder what, the, what the difference is between Signal 1 and Plan B. Uh, so this one runs from 1993. It runs for 101 minutes. Also stars Lara Flynn Boyle, but I don't know who that is. So, cool. so I thought that we'd be doing all, ni all nice lined up with uh, Signal 1 labels. Because I've got a couple. I've got Hudson Hawk and I've got Damnation Alley. But we'll move on to the next one, and we'll see what we have. Oh, another different one in a bookcase this time. And I picked this one up because it's got Deborah Winger in it from Officer and a Gentleman. And I quite liked her in that, so I thought, why not take the other movie that first that was £5, and it was. And it's also got, again, Dennis Hopper in it. Unless I'm mistaken, yes, it does. And it says, After a number of millionaires die in suspicious circumstances, soon after marrying an FBI investigator, Alex Barnes, Deborah Winger, becomes obsessed with bruising grammar of socialite. Catherine Pearson is the murderer. But time, but time, but finds, if I could speak, but finds she is also falling under her spell. So this is from 1987, and it's a 102 minutes. Plenty extra features, The Predator and Her, new interview, bright colours, deep black, uh, Gobby Cards poster and still gallery. So there you go. And that one is Black Widow. I think that was a £5 one, that one. And that one does say Signal 1, but it's in a, again, it's in a different format. So we're down to the last two. What else did I order myself? Oh yes! This is the one that I actually really wanted from the sale. And it's because I'm a Charlton Heston fan. And when I looked at the sale first, this was the first one that I wanted to pick up. And it's Pony Express. Uh, it says, Buffalo Bill and Wild Bill Hickok join forces. To establish a mail route that can get the mail from St. Joseph, Missouri to Sacramento, California in 10 days. Along the way they must battle bad weather, hostile Indians and outlaws, intent on robbing the mail and shutting down the entire operation. So this is from 1953. It's 101 minutes long and it looks like it's a black and white film. I didn't realise that, but that's okay. And it stars Charlton Heston. Ronda Fairman, Jensen and Forrest Tucker, and I say I'm a Charlton Heston fan, so that is why I got that one. So that's one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there must be one more in here. And there is. This is a uh, another western, a reason to live and a reason to die. James Coburn, Terry Savalas, and Bud Spencer, and it's another western, I believe. And I think this one was five pound as well. I'm not quite sure. 
Colonel Pembroke, having surrendered Fort Hollow of the Con to the Confederacy without engaging in any combat, finds himself confronted with public humiliation and the looming threat of a court martial. His only chance to redeem himself and re reclaim the fort from the tyrannical Mayor Ward, who cruelly holds its power. It is from 1972. It's 119 minutes. It just has some basic special features, still gallery and an original trailer. So is that a western? It's more a war western, isn't it? Yeah, set in the west. So that is what I've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven Blu-rays, and they're about to fall off my dashboard. I didn't do it. I didn't drop anything. <laughs> uh, they are, and and I, I say I think I paid a total of ten pounds for those. So thank you to Signal One for honouring the reward scheme, and thank you for everybody that used it. The, I was actually surprised when I opened the bag there because there is actually one more I was looking at, and that was Witness with Sergoni Weaver. So. I was thinking maybe I'll get a couple more referral codes and I might pick that pick that up. But as I say they've sco closed the scheme now. So I might just order that one. But again, I've got to be careful with bills and things like this month. So maybe that will just have need to wait till another sale. And look at that. I can't be... Am I just being greedy now? Probably am. I'm a, so I'll just... Uh, I'll, I'll settle for my... Just my 11 free movies. Or not free, but... £10 I spent, all to add to the collection. I think I will watch each one of them first though, before I decide, because I say space is limited at the moment. And I have got a, another few on the way from, I say, the Amazon Germany sale I'd just done just before this. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope the rain's not bothered you too much. And I'm going to finish my cup of tea in the car. And then I'm going to head back in and pick up all these envelopes. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, guys. If you do want to see you again, uh, then you know where that subscribe button is. Thumbs up. And I, just once again, thanks for everybody that used the code. Thank you.